Hi guys, today we'll talk about French kissing. I think everyone had a situation when your first date went well until you kissed for the first time. Yes, a lot of people don't know how to kiss and it's the biggest turn off. From figuring out the right amount of tongue to use, to remember and to breathe, there is a lot that goes into how to French kiss. French kissing is an art, but you can always improve your technique. So let's talk about how to make it hot, romantic and not looking weird. Guys, according to YouTube policy, 18 plus content can be promoted or monetized. I'm doing this for free just to raise the level of sexual education, because someone has to talk about all of these topics loudly. So please like and subscribe, it's not that hard and I will appreciate it a lot. And first of all, make a move. Don't be afraid to make the first move, no matter what's your partner's gender. We are all responsible for our own pleasure, after all. So find the right moment. Make sure you and your partner are both in the mindset to really lose yourselves in a kiss. So you should have privacy and feeling romantic instead of stressed or distracted. Pay attention if other person keeps dropping hints like looking eyes or looking at your lips. So when you are ending a date that went really well, it's also a good moment to initiate a kiss. If you are not sure whether the other person is feeling it, you can always ask if that's okay to kiss. If you are really excited about the prospect of kissing the other person, show it. Smile keeps the situation light and fun while helping your partner to feel safe and relaxed. Pop a mint. It might seem obvious, but it still needs to be said. No one wants to French kiss someone with a bad breath. Avoid foods that leave an unpleasant odor, particularly garlic, coffee, onions. If you are on a dinner date before the big kiss, try to eat smart. If your partner has a bad breath, gently suggest a mint after the meal. Close your eyes. Kissing with your eyes open is associated with dishonesty and insecurity. So keeping your eyes closed will help you to focus and enjoy on what's happening on your lips. Try not to overthink your kissing technique. That's the number one mistake most people make when they're kissing. Just be in the moment. Keep your lips soft. A soft, smooth and slightly moist mouth is ideal for kissing. If you want to soften your lips before you kiss, you should try chapstick or drinking water. Lick your lips. If you are really in a pinch, quickly run your tongue over your lips and press them together. Another very important moment, tilt your head slightly to one side, because meeting head-on will result in bumping noises and it's not sexy at all. Instead, just tilt your head slightly to the left or right. If you notice the other person going in one direction, pick the opposite. Lightly brush your lips over the other person's. Use feather light pressure at first, so your lips are just barely grazing over your partner's. This also signals to your partner that you may be wanting more without being too straightforward about it. So keep your movement slow. Act like you have all the time in the world. The kiss will speed up soon enough. Signal that you are ready to kiss with your tongue. Open your mouth more widely. If your partner hasn't responded, don't focus on that too much until next time and practice regular kissing in the meantime. But avoid making a big deal of it. Explore with your tongue. Remember to keep your tongue in motion and keep your touches light. First, just slowly slide your tongue into your partner's mouth. You can either begin by placing it above or below your partner's tongue or even move it around the tongue. Stay playful. Take the other person's tongue lightly and retreat back, inviting them to make the next move. Don't go too deep. Jamming your tongue down the other person's throat is a big turn off. So stay shallow and light at first. See how far your partner wants to go and follow him. Swirl your tongues. For a higher contact French kiss, use the tip of your tongue and swirl it in circles around your partner's tongue. 
Since the tip of the tongue contains many nerve endings, this motion can be incredibly stimulating. Use suction. Use your lips to create a gentle suction during the kiss. So take your partner's bottom lip, upper lip or tongue in your mouth and suck slightly. So suction can increase the blood flow to the area and elevate the pressure. So, but be gentle, sucking too hard can cause unwanted pain. Move away from their lips. French kissing doesn't have to center the mouth, let your mouth wander away from your partner's lips. So try kissing down their jawline, along their cheeks or against their ear. Mix it up, vary the pressure. Using the same kissing technique can make your partner feel bored. So to keep things fresh and exciting, try to vary the pressure of your French kisses. Speed. Varying the speed of your kisses is a good way to try something different. Once you've got the slow kiss mastered, try going a little faster for a few seconds. Depth. Once you are comfortable with someone, try kissing a little more deeply. The key to pulling this off is keeping your speed under control. Or if you want things to be a little more flirty and playful, return to shallow kisses. Teeth. You may want to try rubbing the backs or front of other person's teeth with your tongue. This can create a ticklish feeling that might enhance your kiss. You could also try lightly catching the other person's lower lip with your teeth. But be aware though that not everyone likes their kisses with their side of their teeth or with teeth involved at all. Use your hands. Use your hands to hold your partner and make them feel desired. Caress their lower back, upper back, chest or neck with varying pressure levels. When using your hands, that you pay attention to your partner's comfort level, especially if you are on an early stage date or in a new relationship. Ask a permission or check with your partner before touching sensitive parts of their body. Thanks for watching this video. Enjoy and master your kisses. And I'll see you next time in Bed with Kate.